not the worst outcome, Vibes Cartel Attorney Tavares Finson says. It could have been worse. A retrial for dancehall star Adida Vibes Cartel Palmer would have been worse than the outright rejection of his appeal against his murder conviction and sentence according to his attorney Tom Tavares Finson. The noted Queen Counsel made the comment during a radio interview shortly after the Court of Appeal dismissed the appeal. It was the most anticipated legal decision in Jamaica in a long time. Tavares Finson said the decision paves the way for the legal team to take the matter to the United Kingdom-based Privy Council within the next 18 months. The most important thing is to get a decision at this point in time because needless to say, we will take the matter to the Privy Council, he said. Regarding the length of time it took the court to arrive at a verdict, Tavares Finster said, this has been an unprecedented length of time. Two years since the appeal was heard and almost four years since the conviction? In reality, we could have gone to the Privy Council and come back already in that period of time. According to Tavares Finster, what we did not want was a retrial. It was either this verdict or an acquittal, and we have gotten one of the two, and we accept it. It could be worse. The noted attorney insisted that it was not the worst possible outcome, arguing they, the judges, could, could have given us an order for a retrial, which would mean another four or five years in the court system in Jamaica. We are confident that we will get a hearing in the Privy Council and we will get it in the short order. For her part, the Director of Public Prosecution, Paula Llewellyn, also speak on radio, said the time it took to arrive at a verdict was based on the complexity of the case and a lot of voluminous material. She said the team from her office took the time to ensure the appropriate care was exercised in the matter. Cartel was convicted in 2014 for the 2011 murder of his associate Clive Lizard Williams. On Friday, a three-member panel of the Court of Appeal, headed by President Dennis Morrison and including Justices Frank William and Patrick Brooks, announced their verdict shortly before 10 a.m. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to bring this up because it has been news in the ground that Vibes Cartel made an appearance on an Instagram program with a fellow artist by the name of Russian. I didn't hear that, uh, but I get a chance to see something online and I'm not sure if that is the vice of Vibes Cartel or not. But let's go to the news and let's see how the news presents this. Does this have something to do with the decision of the judges today? We don't know. Let's take a look at the facts as how the newspaper presented it. Let's take a look. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of ooh-la-la going on around the fact that they're saying that it is Vibes Cartel that appear on a social media platform with Russian I didn't get an opportunity to catch that um, stream live, but I saw some things posted and I'm not one to, that is quick to rush to judgment. I'm just saying, this is what the newspaper or some of these vlog has to say out there. It says social media has been buzzing with reports that the world boss was on Russian Instagram live last night, March 26. You read that right Reports indicate that Vibes Cartel was somehow able to get access to Russian's Instagram Live from behind bars and he called in to sing a few lines from his 2011 song, Turn Up The Scheme. The clip is just a few seconds long 
but cartel may be facing some sanctions for the brief stunt, if that is vibes cartel. Twitter fans went crazy with the news that cartel had been on the live. See some funny reactions below. Prison authorities, however, were not amused. In fact, reports indicate that his cell was raided and a cell phone was confiscated following the incident. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if any of this is true, can we safely say that because this happened, if it is true, uh, that is the reason why the verdict came back the way it did? Are they trying to send a message, if this is true, that we would not want Vibes Cartel to think he can get away with just about anything by flaunting his powers within the judiciary system? As you know, they have Vibes Cartel voicing and they claiming that some of the hits that he stays current with were not voiced yesteryear, but were voiced recently. And um, they're saying that as an artist that is convicted for the capital offense of murder, one should be given those privileges as to be able to go into a studio and to make a living while he's being served in his sentence. So, I'm not sure, I'm just bringing this out there, I'm just throwing things up to see if what could ever have tarnish uh, the thought that we would have had cartel free or uh, if this new development had something to do with his denial. I don't know, I, I'm just throwing these things up ladies and gentlemen, you be the judge, you take time out, you listen, you see what's going on out there, and then you can make your report down there in the comments box. Thank you very much for watching, and please do have a great day. Thank you.